Hey everyone, we are back. Today I'm going to go over my vocabulary lesson plan. Um, and it will be on a book that you guys are all familiar with because I did this in my previous read aloud, which is Lucky Broken Girl by Ruth Bihar. So last time I did chapter four, but this time it's a different read aloud portion and it's shorter. For my teaching point, I will be asking students telling students rather now today when we read we are going to be looking for context clues to help us figure out words we don't know keep in mind that context clues include any phrases or definitions within the book that are, are, are about the characters or that describe what the characters are doing or in which that the characters talk as you watch me read aloud i want you guys to ask yourself, why is it important to understand the meaning of phrases we read? The explanation part is, next I will show students the book cover and ask them what they can notice about the imagery and the colors of the cover page. I'm going to connect this image of Ruthie's neighborhood to the students' lives as well, and I would ask them, how is Ruthie's neighborhood similar or different to yours? And then I'll let students explain and voice their opinions. And then I will go on to my modeling, which is the read aloud portion of the lesson. And then, so I would start off with all right, I want everyone to listen carefully as I read this passage from Lucky Broken Girl. Pay attention to the context clues that we may encounter and observe as I read. And I will start now. Quotation marks. Their apartment smells weird. I get whiffs of it whenever we stumble into each other on the way to school. Hmm. I don't know what the word stumble means. What can I do? Let me reread and see if I can figure it out. I get whiffs of it whenever we stumble into each other on the way to school. So into each other is right after stumble. Let's see, does that mean knocking into each other? or bumping into each other? What could it mean walking into each other? I think that makes sense. I'm going to put a post-it note. Yes, you can see math on it, but I'm gonna put a post-it note on that page so that I can go back and rethink about what stumble might mean. Then I'm going to emphasize to students that into each other is a context clue that is very important into finding out what stumble might mean. For guided reading, before sending the students off to do their own thing, I want to revisit the questions I left with them. So I would re-ask why is it important that we understand the meaning of words when we read and ask them, have you been in a situation where you didn't understand what was happening around you? when you went out with your parents. And I want them to have some thinking time. And then I want them to turn to their neighbors or the person sitting next to them, to their right, and tell them what they thought was confusing when they didn't understand what was going on around them. And when, they're, and when they, them and their partner are done, I want them to put their thumbs to their chest to make sure that no one is feeling rushed and that they can do this activity with the time that they with the time that they need. And then it would be on to the independent practice. And for the I know for the independent practice, I would make sure that students have access to highlighters and different colored pens so that they can write on their sticky notes about each context clue they find when they reach a word that they don't understand. And hopefully students will find this activity pretty engaging and 
um, useful to when they need to comprehend the meaning of text. Thank you.